thought we'd have uh, Kevin here for the next one because on the line now from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Kevin's mom, Lynn. Right. Hi, Lynn. Hi. Mom. Hi. Welcome to the show. How you doing? I'm doing fine. You've been here before, right? Yes, you've yeah. been here. Yeah. So you kind of know what this young man does. You know, uh -huh. he's become a big star, though, since the last time you were here. <laughs> Did you know? Th oh, she's laughing. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. You know why he's become such a big star? Besides uh -huh. his great good looks and his brilliance? Yeah. He's become the master of the dark side. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's, he's doing all our, like, uh, hacker tips and stuff like that. <laughs> Did you know that about your son? No, that's the dark side. Huh? I, like yeah. to, I like to hide that stuff. <laughs> I sorry. really don't talk a lot about that, Leo, though. I appreciate it, though. Thanks, Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. I just know, you know, a parent is proud of, of their child, no, no matter how low they've sunk. Hey, Leo, I've got a question for you. Yes, Lynn. Um, can you tell me what's going on between Kevin and Sarah? Um, okay. You don't tell me you know, a lot, and I'm just curious. I'm just going to have to leave that to them. I bet you Dan, Dan had to say, you told me Pop was here to say this. I know you did. You know, I think we've got a commercial break. Uh, yes. Don't we? Time for a commercial. <laughs> They're deeply in love. No, man. no, no. Well, it's, no, I'm not saying no, no, no. You know, now you're caught between a rock and a hard place, Kevin. There's nothing you can say. This is, this is where I just keep quiet, I think. Yeah. Computer question, ma'am. <laughs> can I help you out, Mom, with something? You... Okay. I, I can never find out anything. So. No, no. Wait a minute now. Let's be, let's be honest, because no, everybody's, not everybody's privy to what's going on. Did they not come down and visit you in Las Vegas yes, just a they few did. weeks ago? Uh -huh. And are they not a sweet couple? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. And I've met your da your daughter, of course, and her husband. Uh -huh. uh, they came out when I was doing Regis. Yep, that's right. That's right, and they were in the yeah. audience. So you, I, you have a wonderful family. Oh, thanks. Now, I understand that you have been, you have been against your will. Your son has moved you to Outlook. Yeah, he, um, he took in converted my email and I can't bring up any uh, on the Outlook Express. I can't retrieve my messages. Does have a bad password or something? Oh dear, well, Kevin. Well, here's the deal. She was on Hotmail. Yeah. And you were getting, Mom, how many spams were you getting a day? Like just About 70. Yeah, 70, oh, 70 spams a day. And, and she doesn't want to have all that garbage in her inbox. So I figured I'd move her to Outlook and, and put a nice spam filter on there you for her. You use Cloudmark or Cloudmark. did you put her on Cloudmark? Uh -huh, okay. I did. But, uh, and, ha and has that worked for you, Lynn, or have you been able to get your mail at all? I can't get any mail. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better than 70 messages of spam. But, <laughs> you know, mom, mom problems are the hardest. I, I'm they convinced. are, like, and I sympathize, Kevin, because I have to support my mom way back in Providence, Rhode Island. And what I did with her is I set up a uh, 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 the Norton, um, what do you call the uh, thing where you're, a remote desktop. Yeah, that's and I was I able, to, able to work on her computer remotely. Have you been doing that with your mom? I do that with my dad all the time. I have, have yet to do it with my mom, yeah. but that's definitely something I'm going to so do. So, Lynn, it, it, what happened? The minute you launched Outlook, it asked you for the password, and you didn't know the password. Is that what yeah, happened? It says, unable to pull for your new messages on your HTTP server. It's a bad password. The header download in the inbox folder does not complete. It's, that's I think what happened is it was trying to import the settings from the Outlook Hotmail Express, or which she had Hotmail inside of Outlook right, Express. Right. So it pulled all of her old Hotmail settings in there, and then I actually create, went out and registered a domain name for her, and then had, had, she has her own email address at the domain name, which is hosted on my servers. Right. So I, I think what we're going to have to do is I'm just going to reset your password. I can't even remember what I said to you in the first place. And then go ahead and go into the settings. You go into Tools here in Outlook, uh, click on Email Accounts, and then once you do that, you can do view or change an existing email account. And you go into there. And then you'll see in here, there will probably be two accounts in here. I'll do all this for you, Mom, later over remote desktop. Okay. But you just click on change. And then we'll type in our new password right here into the password field That once I reset the password. Yeah. You know, I, I have to say, this is I, I wrote a chapter in my first book, uh, Beware Geeks Bearing Gifts. And this is a very common problem, which is you have somebody who helps you with the computer, somebody smart like Kevin, and they come in and they go, oh, it's no problem, I'm going to fix that all up here. Well, it's no problem, I got it all. Okay, it's, see you later. And they walk out the door, <laughs> and, and you're left, you know, ah, what happened there? Oh, no. And it's very, very common, and it's not just sons and moms, although I confess I do it to my mom all the time. It's, yeah. it's geeks and, and non-geeks. And so uh, those of us who are geeks who are watching the show, we just have to, a word to the wise. You've got to make sure it's all working before, <laughs> before you walk out the door. And also, don't change people just because you think there's a better way to do it. Now, in this case, I think Kevin did the right thing for you, Lynn. I, mean, I think getting mm -hmm. you out of Hotmail was probably a very good move. Okay. But we've got to figure out how to get it all working again. Yeah.
Yeah. I'll help you out, Mom. We'll he, do the remote desktop. A, was he a good boy growing up, Lynn? Yes, he was. He's a very, oh, thank he's, you. He's a very, very good employee. We're so happy to have him as part of the show. Thanks, Leo. Yeah, no, I'm sincere. Hey, thank you, Lynn. Okay. Yeah, he's going to shave someday, too. Yeah. I shaved today, actually. <laughs> Look, all the kids shaved today. It's so cute. <laughs> I swear. All right. Thank you, Lynn. Take care.